In the last episode of Earth.gg, we moved to Antarctica, which is like the, the second coldest place aside from, from, from Canada. You guys came online and absolutely took over everything nearby. I mean, look at this. We have a massive city now. And now we're back with episode number two, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're going to be taking over another part of the world. Yes, of course. If you guys are new to the series, we are currently on Earth.gg right now. This server is a one-to-one -one scale of Earth. Yes. Do you happen to live in Africa? Guess what? There's Africa on here. Do you happen to live in New York? Maybe Texas. Maybe California. Maybe even Canada, too. It's all on here. Make sure you come online right now and join because we're going to be claiming another country in today's video, and I need your help. Guys, look at this. Look how insane this is now. I have fly mode, right? So I can fly around and check all this out. There are so many builds. Look, this is where our build started right here. This little thing right here. Yeah, this is where it started. And now look how much there is. Holy cow, dude. So before we go on this wicked adventure, there are a few things that I want to redeem at spawn before we go ahead and claim another country. So online right now, there are actually shark crates. You can you can go to shop.earth.gg and purchase these shark crates. I went ahead and got five of them. I'm going to open them all right now and see what I get. Oh, we got the first one. Let's see. Ooh, team shark tag. Okay. I got another tag. I'll give that one away to you guys. Ooh, I like your wings. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, dude. I got a virtual workbench. I can craft wherever I want to go. Last one. Please make this a good one. Uh, let's go. Yo, an iHeart Shark tag. That is so sick. I'm going to put on Team Shark. I like that one. Of course, if you guys want to open some shark crates, all you got to do is head on over to shop.earth.gg. So I just teleported to a random country now. I have no idea where I'm at right now, but one thing's for sure, I need to move a little bit quicker. I'm going to type slash mount. I actually learned this. this is a really cool command. Boom, I have a horse now. Check this out. Me and my horse here are going to go on every adventure together. This is amazing. Plus, I got my shark bow, which by the way, this thing is indestructible. No, literally, it's 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 unbreakable. Let's move a little bit away from where we teleported to, and I'll open up the live map in just a second to see whereabouts that we're at. I'm noticing that this area doesn't seem to be claimed by a lot of people, which is a good thing. All right, so this is the live map right now. I am right over up here. I'm like somewhere in like Europe-ish area, um, which honestly, you know, I've never been to Europe like uh, in real life. I've never, I've only been to the US of A's and the Canadian A's. <laughs> See, do you see what I did there? I've never been to Europe, so I think if we claimed a land in Europe, that would be so awesome. Let's travel. Um, I feel like we should build something a little bit near this lake. This lake connects to... This seems like a great lake because it connects to all main big bodies of water. So if we're ever traveling anywhere, we can just follow the stream. Now, if my directions are correct, which usually there never are, I should be going in the right direction. The stream should be just somewhere up here. I, I literally will cross it. Oh, literally, look, there it is. All right, so this is the stream that we just looked at on the live map. So I think setting up a secondary base right here would be a really cool idea. So everybody that is online on the server here are my cord yo i just got diamonds thank you the diamond gods thank you so much ow thank you thank you so much for everybody that is online on the server these are my coordinates right now make sure you guys come along and head over to where we are starting the second base uh uh where did that wither come from where did that wither come from? Guys, I did I did not spawn that. I, I, I did not. Okay, I don't know if this is a good idea. Let me just get my plane. I don't know if I want to do this. I, I think we should go. I think we should go. I don't know what this wither's for. Oh, okay. Yep, the plane's stuck, guys. Help. Uh-huh. Hello? Wither? What, what's going on with you? Oh. Huh? I just... It, what? Oh, wait a second. Does this wither not do anything? He could be like my pet wither. Oh, look at your little pet wither. Look at you and the little villager. 
Look at the little pet wither. Oh my goodness. He's so cute. Now, I kind of forgot to grab all my loot that I had at the previous base. So I kind of got to start over and grab all my logs and stuff again. But luckily, I have some of the starter kits. Uh, we have some pretty decent stuff here. So honestly, I'll just mine up a bunch of logs here and we'll start building our second house. I expect that the next time I come online, we have a massive area here that we all own together. I mean, like, we could low-key how cool would it be if we owned everything from Europe area-ish to Antarctica. That, that would be so insane. Got lots of dark oak and oak planks. This is going to look nice. Okay. Uh, let's start off with a little log cabin, okay? Obviously, if I'm... It's only one person, really. I don't need the biggest place, but I would love to leave room to expand to bigger things. We're going to have to chop down a lot of these trees here to make area for all the other players that are going to be coming and building around here. Quite honestly, though, I think we can make something work. Let's get all this grass out. Dude, <laughs> this shovel is so OP. Holy... All right, we got a front door, and voila! Oh, wait, of course, I can't... Oh, gosh, dude. Okay, there we go. Voila! We have our little log cabin. Dude, I gotta say, this looks really nice. I like the look of this little cabin we got going on here, guys. I like this little log cabin idea we got going on. Like, it's not too big. I don't have to worry about taking up a lot. My plane still has a nice runway, kinda. <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude, this freaking plane, man. What the heck? So we already have Antarctica, which is pretty much already claimed as ours. I don't think anybody else is going to take up as much room as all of us did the shark army. So I'm kind of thinking, honestly, uh, with us taking over uh, more of the Europe, Europe side of the world, uh, I think I think next stop, we got to take over Canada. Now that would be ideal. I mean, I'm Canadian, right? So like it would only make sense. We must build a life-size Tim Hortons. All my Canadians would understand. And for all the Americans and everybody else, we will build whatever staple fast food chain or whatever represents where you're from. Whether that is a Chick-fil-A, a Five Guys, or a Tim Hortons. Whatever it is, let's build it. All right, so one thing for sure is I have not gone mining yet, really. And uh, I have a lot of OP gear, to be quite honest. Uh, this is all from the amazing kit I got. So I'm very happy that I have this kit. But I think a mining adventure is kind of necessary, especially in uh, when we're on a world like this. You never know the kind of ores that we can find wish i had some torches though that would be really nice i i really don't know where i'm going i found some iron though oh you know what hold up i just said i wish i had some torches and little did i realize i just got coal so i can craft Oop, there we go i don't know if this is the thing i'm just putting out a theory what if different regions around the earth.gg server have different and better mining resources beneath them like for example Maybe Antarctica has some crazy hidden gems that are underneath. You just need to mine for them. But because Antarctica is all frozen and nobody's ever been able to get near there, I mean, there could be some crazy loot down there, guys. We're going to have to find out. I'm, I'm going to see how these uh, how these European mines are, uh, are coming. I hear a Zambi, but so far I'm not too... <gasps> Whoa, okay. Starting off strong. Oh my gosh, dude. Thank you, my... My MCMMO levels are flying through the roof right now. Let's get rid of this diorite, pick up these emeralds. We got 13, holy. Well, to be fair, I do have fortune three on this. So, yo, that's a GG. A coal block? What? Dude, I've never, that is insane. Perfect, thank you. Is this another coal block? Oh my gosh, dude, that is so awesome. I got coal for days now, guys. We got redstone now. Come on, all we need now is diamonds, man. Like, that's the only thing we're missing. Once we get diamonds, we're set. We literally have everything that we've ever wished for. Oh no, bedrock. Dang it, dude. Okay, all right. Well, we're down at bedrock, which means our likelihood of diamonds are very, very high right now. Come on, I'm not getting anything right now. Another coal block. Dude, I have three coal blocks. Let's freaking go, dude. I have a lot of cobblestone. I just got to say, I'm going to be coming back with tons of loot. Oh, good old-fashioned trick here. Yeet, 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 yeet. So satisfying. All right, you know what? I have to say, although I may not, although I may not have found diamonds, look at my inventory. It is fuller than full. It is fuller than somebody after eating a buffet for 20 hours, okay? Like, I can't fit anything else in my inventory right now. Hey, we made it back. Let's go, dude. We have so much stuff. Look, 15 golden apples, dude. Holy. Ladies and gents, we have made some crazy progress in today's episode. 
I want everybody watching right now to come online and I gave the coordinates earlier on in the video. Head on over to where we were building here and let's build this massive town here. We've already conquered Antarctica. Now we got to do it here. Next up is going to be somewhere in Canada or the USA. Let me know down below in the comments which place we should do in the next episode. Without further ado, everybody, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a safe and fantastic rest of your day. And of course, I'll catch you guys tomorrow in a brand new video. Take care. Booyah! Let's go. Thank you guys all so much for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy and want to see some more from me, you guys see the videos over there, like that one. There's a playlist and then another video right there. Go check them out. They're really, really awesome. And I think you would really love to, uh, to watch them. But ladies and gents, until then, I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.